Welcome to my let's play of My Train Arrives. Strange enough, it's a train game. You wouldn't have guessed that from the title, would you? It's a train game where you try and construct a railway to move passengers and cargo from one place to another, depending on the requirements of the scenario. And it's good fun, at least so far. However, I've completed Provincial Town and City by the Bay. I'm now going on to Shoreline, which has a requirement of carry 800 passengers and the total of 250 units of coal, oil and containers in 15 minutes. This is the first scenario I'm trying where cargo is involved. And as you can see from my best time being unknown, I haven't done this before. So this is a exercise in challenges, exploration. It has six passenger stations and four freight stations, according to this bit of information. So I'm guessing I'm about to find out exactly what this is like. Shoreline. In campaign mode, you need to transport a particular number of passengers and amount of cargo with a specific time frame. Within a specific time frame, I can't read. At the beginning of the game, some stations will be opened, other stations will be opened during the game. Good oh. So first things first, hit the pause button, zoom out. The play area is inside this red rectangle. Is it a rectangle is it a square this time? It might be just slightly yes, yeah, a rectangle just. Okay. So I have six passenger stations. Well at least I can see them all. Unlike the time I did the last one. This station over here in green, the green stations are passenger stations. That one's open, that one's open, and that one's open, and that one's open. That station is not, you can tell because there's no passengers waiting. If I zoom in, you can see this has zero passengers, which means it's open. Whereas this one has no number there, which means it's not currently open. So I have four of the passenger stations open. This is interesting. Okay, for the passenger stations, I can see me doing it this way. As these passenger stations all seem to be able to capable of dealing with two lines. I can run a line on the outside of this one, down here, across the river, and through the inside of this one, the inside of this one, and back round there. This one, I can connect this station from the inside line of there, through the inside line of here, possibly through the... I might go for the outside line of there, through the inside line of this one, through the outside line, the outside line, and wrap, wrap around the circle there. So I'll have one train going around these three, and one train going, well, let's say one train, a train or more going around this, and I've still got the inside line I can use to connect specific stations, specific stations for these two, and all this one. That's theory number A. Okay, I've got four cargo stations. Now, I don't know. This station is open. That station is open. That one is currently not. This one is currently not. This one can take three lines. The line there. That might be able to take three lines as well. I don't know if you need a specific train for each type of cargo or not. I'll find out the hard way, I'm guessing. But let me try setting this up by... go around no let's go over there right now again my ability to draw straight lines is challenged by this game I said I want to go sort of that way I if you get keep an eye on the money as well that way that way and round like that. So far, so good. Now I was going to use the outside line of this one, if memory serves me correct. I can always delete lines if I get this horribly wrong, which wouldn't surprise me in the slightest, me getting something horribly wrong. It's not exactly unusual for me. 
I know some of these stations aren't currently open, but I'm preparing for the future. I don't want to do it doing the inside line of view. I did want to do the inside line of view, didn't I? Did I get that wrong and do the outside? I did get that wrong. All right. Um, let me delete this bit. Right, let me delete that bit as well. Right, we're going through the outside of view. And the outside of view, assuming this was what I thought I was going to do, and round, bend you around there and connect you like that. Right, because that way I can put the inside line of that to there and round to there as well to run a, a completely different line if necessary. That's plan A. I can't do anything. Oh, I can do something with the outside of that one. I can run that one to there if I so desire as well. Perhaps I should have, you know, never mind. Whatever I've done, I've done. Okay. Now, again, I don't know about this. So, let's start with... Okay. It's going to require me to bend the line in the middle. Come yeah, on. I want to bend... Thank you. That's what, that's what I want to bend you. Be bendy. That's why I want to stop the line for now. Okay, stop. See if I can, maybe it's going to go straight to there. Yeah, my ability to draw straight lines, not that great. Okay, that's sort of how I want that for the moment. It's going to be interesting. Well, I'll draw these lines in preparation. At least to that point. that point. Now how am I going to bend you around? You will bend... you'll bend that sharply. Not quite like that. So if I connect you kind of like that... Now if I connect you... Ah! Blow and botheration. Okay. Delete you. Thank you. Right. Okay, that will allow that one to connect. There's a lot of configuring as far as I'm concerned. And I want to bend you around here, straight across there, and on that one using a lot of money which I probably shouldn't be at this point but if there's a way of making a mistake I'm sure I can make it okay oh. and now the final bit of my track that I want to configure sort of like this maybe okay it does help if I can see let me zoom out so I can see what I'm doing Okay, it's going to have to bend like that. Fine. Let me go over here. And the question is, if I build all this stuff right now, am I going to be able to operate a train? Will I have enough money left to operate an actual train? It's going to be tight. Okay. That's everything I currently want built, built. May not be pretty. Now I need to build a route 
from you around there. Around here and back to there. That's one new route. And I want to build a route from you around there. And there. And back to there. And now, get me a basic train. And that costs 800, that costs 900. Your 700 has a max speed of 23. You only carry six. We'll go with this one for now. Okay. Okay, that's my two passenger trains going. that so that will service these two stations and this will service these three stations when they all open now I don't have any money that was the problem with me doing all the building right at the start I need some passengers to make me some money whilst this cargo backs up I'm waiting for that. Let me build route number one, which is around there to around there. Okay. Let me build another route. This will either work or it won't. And with my design and design skills, won't is probably a favourite. Can I actually make that route? Yes, I do have that route created. Okay. And now I want another route. From here to here. Okay, does that count as an actual route? Okay. Hmm. Perhaps you can't have a single lane lane bit of track. Interesting. Oh, I'll figure I'll figure that out as we go. Once I've got some money, I can put a freight train on there. We'll see how things work out. Wonderful job, train. I just appreciate it if you could do it and get me more money. got enough for a, a sort of freight train. Just need a few hundred more. Come on. Oh, that station's not open. Okay. Deliver me some passengers. Be a good little train. Okay, that should be enough to get me a train and a freight car. May even get me enough to get me all sorts of wonderful stuff. Right. Pause. Train. Give me a train. Locomotive. And nicer locomotives that can go faster. But I'll go with a basic one for the moment. Because that's what I can afford. 
Okay, we will go with weight 100, weight 150, weight 150. Okay, this can about pull one of those, one of those, and one of those. Okay, apart from I can't afford the last one. Okay, that's my current freight configuration. Okay, that station's open, that one's open. So I've got five out of the six passenger stations now open. Let me see what this freight train is now doing. Okay, it's full. Now it's got... Never mind. What, did, what am I doing? Okay, did I just delete that train? It starts to look like I did. Alrighty. Ah, okay. Well, I've got a locomotive there. Right, go there. Go there. Go there. And we'll have one of you on there as well. Right, now I've got one of each. that's all the money I can currently afford. That freight area is now open. Essentially, at this point, I need a chunk of money. It's starting to come together, the money. Freight trains delivering stuff, that's helpful. Taking stuff. That freight station over there at the top is not open, so that freight train should go straight through it. And ouch, my nose itches. Never great when you're trying to play a game and concentrate. Suddenly so discover you've got an itchy nose. Yes, the freight is piling up here rather nicely. Not ideal, I know. Ah, good oh. That should give me a chunk of money worthy of its name. Right. Now, this freight train has the pulling power of 850. That one has the pulling power of 950. Pulling power of 1500, but I can't afford that one. So let me try this locomotive on this route with... Two of those. Two of those. And I can't afford anything else right now. That should help my freight situation. Or some of it. As it should pick up a load of this stuff, which has been waiting for a while. That helps. train is, yep, full to capacity and slowly moving around. I've forgotten what the conditions are. All transported, yeah, I don't know how much I've got to transport. I've forgotten. It's 150? And 800 passengers within 15 minutes? Good out. Starting to get some money together. That's the small freight train. It's 
suppose so. That's, don't know what I'm going to do with that line, if anything. I need more money. We're doing fine. That station's pretty. That one's ridiculously full. Okay. You go join him. You go join him. Max speed, average speed, current speed. Pulling power 550, total wagon weight is currently 420. Okay. Well, I've given them the extra carriage. Now, where's my freight trains? You're the bigger one, right? That's good, because you don't have the capacity for these at the moment. Pulling weight will be... Yep, that's as much as you're going to be able to handle, so... That's fine. And I've got a, t a chunk of money. Now, that's the. That doesn't have the speed, but it can carry a lot of stuff. I'll go with speed. You go on that one. Ah, run out of money. Okay. That gets another locomotive or another freight train going. So kind of between the ones I've got, hopefully that will do a wonderful job. And once I've got a bit more money, I will do another couple of passenger trains. I say a bit more money, quite a bit more money. Probably wasn't the most efficient layout in the world, really, was it? And I obviously didn't figure out what to do with that line. I suppose I could go around... I could make it join up along here. And... Come out here and join up along here somewhere. To make a different branch, but... That would start to get complex, and I don't see any reason for that. Right. Motive. I'm going to go there, and I'm using you, aren't I? Oh, so that's another passenger locomotive on that line. We should speed up the transfer of passengers, hopefully. And I want another passenger mo locomotive on this line. Oh, I did say I was going to put in a line that went from the inside of that one to the inside of there and I could actually send it around the inside of there if I wanted to but I could send it back I could just do these two stations if I'd if I chose to but I forgot I said I was going to do that so it's a bit late now uh, locomotive okay that should help out with the mass of people that are waiting at this station. You're doing fine. You're sort of doing fine. I've got two on the inside line and just one on the outside. I want a bit more money. It should be coming shortly. These multiple passenger trains really should clear up the backlogs that I had or have. Good, now I've got the money I wanted.
Okay. Okay, you're underweight. I can actually put more more carriages on that train I just created. So we've got about a backlog of people in the centre here. I've done 100, about 110 freight stuff moved. And I've done just over 600 passengers. Like I say, I can't remember how much freight I had to move. It was 100 or 200. Okay, I've got enough to reduce the price of railroad construction. Really not planning on doing any more railroad construction, to be honest. Train construction, potentially yes. Railroad construction, not so much. Yeah, man, there. You're there. That little one's there. Curious. Trains, wagons five, wagons five, wagons three, that one. Move the train to the depot. Sell the train. I'm selling that train. Right. Okay, so why have a little small train running around when you've got the money to afford a much bigger one? Okay, that has a total wagon weight of 800. Which means, in theory, I could actually make it longer and bigger. Struth, 226 people waiting at this station. 105 over there and 8 over there. Okay, have another passenger train on that line. Deliver some stuff. And be off again. You guys are doing a wonderful job, but I don't have much time left. I've delivered all the passengers I need to deliver, I think. That's 100 and. Okay, it must be 250 freight stuff that I need to deliver. I'm guessing. So, once again. Have another freight train. Solved my problem with a mass over usage of trains. Information about the level. Oh, okay. Yeah, objectives. Deliver cargo 250. I've done the passengers. I need to do the cargo. There you 
go, a very specialised freight train. Specialisation might be a better option than the way I've been doing it of everybody does a little bit. Okay, I was just thinking, okay, how close am I? Victory! Took me 12 minutes 37 seconds, total income almost 150,000. It delivered over 1,100 passengers and 250 cargo precisely. That was probably not a very good way of doing it. And to be honest, I think the specialization of freight trains is probably better and I should also have loaded them up with more cars because I was worried about the pulling power versus weight, thinking that I was a lot closer on the weight, but apparently I can't count, I can't add up. But that was Shoreline, which having now completed Shoreline, means that it's opened up River Crossing and that's carry 1500 passengers and 350 units of coal, oil and containers in 18 minutes. That should be interesting. Please forgive my sudden going silent there, I had a sneezing fit. Yes, it's a pain when you're trying to record games, you've got a cold. Yes, it's a complete pain when you're trying to record a game, you've got a cold and can't stop sneezing. Okay, well that's going to be it for this episode of My Train Arrives. And now I've added cargo to the mix, and are making me think a bit more, I've got to figure out how certain line configurations work as you saw with that one with the train station that except two train stations that had three lines it wouldn't let me put a route basically on a straight bit of line that ends so I'm guessing it has to somehow connect back or connect to another line so I'd have to think about that one for the future but yes if you're playing this, the scenario I just played, was it Shoreline, don't do it the same way I did. That was, well, to be honest, while successful, a pretty awful configuration. I really should have thought about that more, or done that somehow differently, because that wasn't particularly efficient, but it worked. So, there's that going for it. Okay, I'll shut up now. As always, I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you down the track for more of My Train Arrives in the near future. Cheerio!